Hey everyone, Ryan here, and today we're going to take a look at the LEGO Star Wars 75081 T16 Skyhopper with 247 pieces, two minifigs right there. This set was released in 2015 for a retail price of just $25. Adjusted for inflation, that's around 30 bucks today. However, if you want to buy one of these on the third-party market, it'll cost you around $60, which isn't too bad. Some of these $25 sets have gotten up in the $100, $200 price range, but as of now, this T16 Skyhopper is holding relatively low, so it might actually be worth picking up in 2022. Now, the T16 Skyhopper is best known for its appearance in A New Hope, where Luke Skywalker has a toy version of it, but it is also in the ending scene of Return of the Jedi's special edition, I believe, and it's also seen briefly in, like, Star Wars Episode 2 somewhere, so it's sparsely in the Star Wars universe, and honestly, for me... The T-16 Skyhopper is best known for being a Lego set. Like, otherwise, I would hardly recognize it. I mean, yeah, Luke plays with it in Episode 4, but it's hardly a memorable scene to me. Anyway, back of the box shows off all your play functions, and because it's 2015, they were doing this weird, like, comic strip thing, which I don't really love, but it is what it is. Let's unbox this. As you might imagine, there are pieces and an instruction manual. Ooh, got a sticker sheet. Not too banged up, not too bent. That's nice. Here's the back of the instructions for some 2015 nostalgia, and let's take a look at the minifigs included in this one. First figure up is the Skyhopper Pilot, a pretty bland figure. I mean, it definitely is missing some leg printing here. I feel like that would have been nice. There is a solid back print though, so I guess that's a positive. The helmet is the gray Rebel Pilot helmet, just with some significantly different markings than what you would see on an actual Rebel Pilot. They did give him a second face where he retains that chin strap, of course, but they also add on a really cool visor. So overall, a really good figure, just really would have liked some leg printing. Next, we have a Tusken Raider, and Tusken Raiders, ever since they changed out the head for this specific head mold for Tusken Raiders, have been very good. I mean, this is a Tusken Raider just as good as one released in 2022, including your leg and waist print there. He also does have a gaffy stick, which you can see. That's really nice. But yeah, the head mold for these Tusken Raiders is one of the best head molds in all of LEGO Star Wars. It just looks lovely. They also did include a Womp Rat in this set, which is a nice bonus to add to some desert scenery on Tatooine. We'll work time down on the T-16 Skyhopper and on the very top they have a 1x6 tile that nicely flattens off the top so you don't have any studs there which is a really good look and then below that we've got a really strong build. We use a combination of Technic and regular Lego bricks to make something that's easy to hold and isn't going to fall apart during the course of play. That is exactly what you want. It's fantastic. There have been earlier versions of ships that use things like this, namely the Imperial Shuttle. They don't have that Technic scale to give it the rigidity it needs and this whole thing will essentially just break off when you do anything close to what I just did with it so it's really good how strongly built it is now the downside of that is that it doesn't create the nicest looking build you've got this small gap where some extra gray exists where there shouldn't be they added a red sticker to alleviate that as much as possible I just really wish they included a sticker that would actually cover the entire area but I know they don't want to do stickers that span across multiple different bricks so that's what they're kind of trying to avoid and you'll see the same issue on the other side i mean i think it generally looks fine but it could have been better below all that we've got another very good looking sticker and a cone piece that kind of protrudes out doesn't actually do anything just decor i'm not sure what its actual function is it's either a blaster or intake of some sort for the engine either way it looks pretty cool and adds a nice bit of depth to the front of the build looking to the side panels man the stickers on this set wait until you see the one in the cockpit very underrated stickers for this set it's got kind of a dragon design which looks really cool just a star wars dragon and you'll see the same thing on the other side here and then they add a dark gray tile and a yellow grill tile for a little extra decor and detail and depth to the side panel so i think that looks pretty good really nice angle change here into the wing very bland not a lot going on just some red lights on either end of them and you can obviously see the spring-loaded shooters sticking out of the back they're located right underneath the wing and they are very easy to shoot off you just push in on them and they'll shoot let's see if we can take out a tuscan raider so all you have to do is push in on it and with our tuscan raider looming in the background we'll see if we can get a hit on a shot here push in Oh, we just grazed him. <laughs> oh, let's try one more from the other side. Oh, we got the Womp Rat, but we missed the Tusken Raider somehow. He lives. 
So while they work fantastic as a play function, they don't look very good for display because they stick out so much. So you can always just shoot them off, take them out, whatever, and have it displayed without them. And even without them, you can kind of see the mechanism underneath. So if you actually just want to pull this whole thing off, I would almost recommend doing that. And then you get a really clean display look for the T16 Skyhopper versus what you see on the other side with this whole thing sticking out and the mechanism underneath. Like it's a really clean look if you just take it off, but I'm not a fan of modding my sets. So I'm going to pop that back on. Looking to the back of the T16 Skyhopper, we can see a few Technic pieces sticking out that don't quite look the prettiest. And then below that, we have the engine thrust represented with pink there. I think that looks pretty good. And then kind of more semi-ugly Technic stuff going on. Nothing particularly bad for a $25 playset, but just know that it's there. And then underneath the ship, we've got a really cool build. We have just this really big white area. I don't even know what it's supposed to be. I guess it's just kind of what is holding the laser cannon at the front and it looks super cool. I love the way it sticks out of the front, just perfectly centered in the middle. That brings us to the cockpit area, which is very cool, very well done. So on the outside, we actually have the panels so that like obviously the pilots protected in there and these panels as they would be otherwise are perfectly clear and aren't really greatly accurate to the T-16 Skyhopper. So what the designers did is they of course added on a sticker to these. So it looks like it's a solid panel with a glass piece on top. And I think it looks very good on both sides. It is a sticker that if you do buy this set brand new out of the box, I would advise taking your time with so you get it on there as straight as possible because otherwise it might look a bit wonky, but it looks very good when applied correctly. So you can lift these panels out slightly if you want to access the cockpit, but that's not really the best way to access the cockpit. You can actually just lift this whole side panel off and that goes for both sides at once. Mm, it's going to be a little bit more difficult without using two hands. There we go. So just like that, you have complete easy, spacious access to the interior. So I said there were some really nice stickers on this set and the interior has the final one of them with the control panel piece in the cockpit, which is a little bit more than a control panel piece. It's actually a piece that represents the entire interior of like the T-16 Skyhopper with all of the control panels and the windows and everything. It's a really small piece to represent that in there, but it is one of the cooler Lego Star Wars cockpit sticker pieces I've seen. And I really appreciate it for that. It's something unique and not something that I ever remember noticing on the set when I bought it back in 2015. So that's really cool. Now, because this guy is in old dark red and is probably gonna crack if I try to put him in there and take him out, like his left arm is super stiff. Um, I'm just gonna like show you what it could look like with him in there like that. I'm not gonna try to push him down all the way. There are studs at the bottom for him to attach to, but if you buy this, I would not recommend men trying to do that because you'll just break the figure but with him in there without having attached him to anything he looks pretty cool and you don't really have to worry about him falling out anyway because the side panels are just in so close that it keeps him pretty tightly uh spotted in there even though you can see he can move to one side pretty easily i just would not try to push him down after it's been so long these old red uh lego minifigures or pieces in general can crack very easily so let's just theoretically say your pilot is inside the c16 skyhopper the way he's supposed to be and you want his blaster to go somewhere well there's actually a crate included for his blaster and so you can see it pulled out like that it's just connected on those four studs there and as it comes in the instructions there are no pieces inside but the small blaster will fit perfectly inside you can close that up and place the tile back on top and you'll be able to store that in there very very easily like so. This is a massively underrated Lego Star Wars set, but for good reason. It's only ever really seen and most well known as a toy in Star Wars. Most things in Star Wars are like ships that you see flying around and stuff like that, but this one is only ever seen, really, most people know it from Luke Skywalker playing around with it in episode four, and for that reason, it's just not like the coolest thing ever, but man, this is a very well done cool Lego set. I think this is absolutely one you could go out and buy brand new and experience it like it was in stores seven years ago. It's a really awesome set and has so many fun building techniques, stickers are really cool, just be careful with that old red T-16 Skyhopper pilot figure. That thing will crack on you if you're not super careful. For me, this set is gonna get a 9.5 out of 10, an excellent play and display set. So let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this review, leave a like and you can check out more LEGO Star Wars set reviews on the end screen now.